Getty Images amidst all the pomp and circumstance of this morning's royal wedding, there were a lot of incredibly sweet, incredibly genuine moments between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and one of the sweetest examples came early in the ceremony. During the preface portion of the Order of Service, the Dean of Windsor spoke about the institution of marriage as the foundation of family life in which children are born and nurtured. And just before the word, children, was uttered, Harry turned to Meghan and smiled. Coincidence? Maybe, but Meghan has hinted that children are absolutely in the cards for she and Harry. You can see this moment at 1 hour 8 minutes and 2 seconds in the video below. Advertisement, continue writing below. Children also played a key role in the wedding itself. Per royal tradition, Meghan's bridal procession featured 10 young page boys and flower girls, including Prince George and Princess Charlotte. Here's the full transcript of that part of the ceremony. In the presence of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Henry Charles Albert David and Rachel Meghan, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy and to celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God and creation through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body and mind, as Christ is united with his bride, the Church. The gift of marriage brings husband and wife together in the delight and tenderness of sexual union and joyful commitment to the end of their lives. It is given as the foundation of family life in which children are born and nurtured and in which each member of the family, in good times and in bad, may find strength, companionship and comfort, and grow to maturity in love. Marriage is a way of life made holy by God, and blessed by the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ with those celebrating a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Marriage is a sign of unity and loyalty which all should uphold and honor. It enriches society and strengthens community. No one should enter into it lightly or selfishly but reverently and responsibly in the sight of Almighty God. Harry and Meghan are now to enter this way of life. They will each give their consent to the other and make solemn vows, and in token of this they will each give and receive a ring. We pray with them that the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen them, that they may fulfill God's purposes for the whole of their earthly life together.